Can you feel the love? Happy Valentine's Can Day. Can you feel the uh, love? Uh. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Valentine's Day. He's laughing because uh, we're going to be talking about our favorite rom-coms Rom of all time. And uh, you were surprised. You should not be surprised by the pick. From, I, I agree with him. I agree with Cordell. We can tell his you right do? away. But no, for him. I oh, mean, I, oh, I agree that I it's a like, rom com. <laughs> he said, "I love you, man." Is his uh, favorite rom com because he was like, "Does that qualify?" And I said, "I think so. I think it does." Does forgetting Sarah Marshall count? Because that one's fantastic too. Oh yeah. So I think that one counts too. I love you, man. Was Paul Rudd, and then who was the other guy that was in uh, forgetting? Jason Seagal. Jason Seagal in forgetting Sarah Marshall, and just if you haven't seen "I Love You, Man," I would do it tonight, this weekend. <clears throat> Well, he, Cordell, our producer, did a lot of research, you know, oh, around the uh, the newsroom asking people what their favorites were. So we're going to get to some of that <laughs> in a minute. But, of course, we talked yesterday a ton about Giving Hearts Day. It was a huge day, record-breaking day, because people's hearts were so full of the giving spirit. Did you hear about the total? You, Do you know what you the total is? Hit me real quick because my brain is still in I love you, man. Um, <laughs> I, did, I did see the total, and i got to say, I mean, you want to talk about feeling the love. Do you want to sing that too? No. Can you feel? Nineteen million dollars thanks to Giving Hearts Day. Pat That's Trainer. incredible. It's amazing what those guys do. So, congratulations to Pat and his team over there, and um, God bless him. We had such a great, at least I did, had such a great time bringing all those groups. In I know. And talking about what they you were know, doing. You know, for the last and, couple of weeks, yeah. not only was it the uh, you know raising <clears throat> all that money yesterday, but I think they said too, like just raising awareness to all of the super great charities. Uh, the great work that our organizations around here are doing. I, I really like that. It just was a great time to remind people, ah. you know, this is out there. This is what they're doing. And uh, just say thank you. So, And obviously, people opened up their hearts and opened up yeah. their uh, checkbooks and their, <laughs> their wallets. So that's an amazing total. So three mil I think three million more than last year. So Was it really? Yeah. What, two million? Oh, two million more. Just wow. two. I was off a million. I think what's <laughs> important to note, you're talking about I'll just say $20 million, but that's just North Dakota and like Western Minnesota. This isn't some right. nationwide, you know, I mean, that is just in that area where you've got, think about what $20 million can do in our community. It's stunning. It's amazing. Plus, we got the pancake, pancake feed on later today. Think how many pancakes you can get for 20, how many pancakes can I get for $20 million? All you can eat for eight <laughs> All you can eat for. What did you say, for eight, eight months? months? <laughs> Oh, eight bucks. <laughs> I thought she said for eight months. I, was I like, did oh. too. I was like, wow, that's a pretty steep price. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the Pancake Carnival. That's coming up. We're going to be talking to them here in a little bit as well, and it's Valentine's Day. So we have, uh, we're have we going to talk a little bit about keeping the spark in your relationship. Nice. I like that, especially on our uh, Valentine's Day. Um, <clears> Wise <throat> and Friday, we're going to talk wrestling uh, for NDSU. We have lot, lots oh. to talk about, but we want to go back to it's Valentine's Day. So <laughs> did you... Your homework assignment was to pick your favorite rom-com. My favorite rom-com. So I, I obviously didn't think of I Love You, Man. I know. The one that kept coming out for me, and there's so many good ones. I mean, My Best Friend's Wedding, I thought was really good just because of the singing stuff. But the one that I can watch over and over again, it will always make me laugh, is Wedding Crashers. <laughs> I mean, that... That's a good one, too. Vince Vaughn, even Breakup, which I don't know if you consider that a rom-com or not, but I, I think you could. But Vince Vaughn, Jennifer Aniston, it's just... I, I love everything Jennifer Aniston. every day and I laugh out say, loud. So I, when I was trying to think, I was like, I watch um, anything that Jennifer Lopez is in oh. over and over. I, I think she is. Like, that's her niche. I mean... Do you have a favorite of hers uh, Well, Made in Manhattan. <clears throat> I like Monst Wasn't she was in Monster-in-Law. Like, almost good. every romantic comedy that she's in. Uh, Kate Hudson, because I know um, a lot of people said, uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That was a pretty good mix that, that we got out of the, uh, the polling here in our building for men and women. I uh, like that one. Um, uh, the Proposal. That was great. That's a good one, right? Who Ten was that again? Sandra Bullock and who was the guy? Mm -hmm. Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, how could he forget his name? <laughs> 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 Ten Things I Hate About You. He's Just Not That Into You. And how about Crazy Stupid Love? Those so do you have like a favorite that you can watch? I like of, like, of movies I love. I said uh, Sixteen Candles. Kind of a flashback one. I like that. Did you like the Brat Pack, uh, Molly Ringwald, anything yes. she was in back in the day? I put that, yeah, and here our director saying this too. When Harry Met Sally, that's a real flashback. I, I was going to say, I Sleepless didn't... in Seattle. Wow. Some of the like classic ones, I like, I love those. Like they're on TV, I'm sitting down, I'm watching it 
And uh, yeah, of course, anything with Julia Roberts, we're also hearing yes. that uh, in our ears. <clears throat> so I think it would be a great weekend to uh, just stay home. My, this is the thing, I, I've been married a long time, and we have a hard time, because I love romantic comedies, and my husband likes action, pa- or westerns. <laughs> I'm sure that, I mean, there's always kind of a love story in most of those I westerns. Say, westerns are kind yeah, of I, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, but oh, it's a little bit of a struggle. And he's always like, why do you have to watch these same movies from the 80s over and over? I'm like, it just, I, that is classic. I can't stop. I, can't stop. Um, <laughs> I think that's an 80s song, too, isn't it? I can't stop. I can't, can't stop. stop. <laughs> um, okay, so how about this is the second assignment we got from our, our producer. Uh, your favorite Valentine's Day ever. Ever. You know, I thought a lot about this. You've been I married remember, a while, so. Yeah, it was, um, there's a beautiful restaurant in Malibu that we went to. So that was definitely one of them where it just was one of those nights where it's like perfect out. It's right on the water. You know, those are hard to beat. And then there's a beautiful place in Santa Barbara that we went that was like, I could go there right now. That eat. sounds really romantic, but I think that I can beat you because my Valentine's Day today I got like the best present ever. My husband, actually, this is really, this is a really sweet, uh, Cordell's bringing this over. No. So I always get flowers, which I think is, is sweet. People will say, I don't want flowers. They just die. My husband always like either has them delivered like after I leave or before. So I come in in the morning because I get here at four in the morning. Um, Sure. You had a romantic Malibu (laughs) night, but when I got to work, I had a beer, cheese, bacon, jalapeno pizza. Uh, and chocolates. JV, but for, you are for sure. Like, actually, it that is actually is. very thoughtful because we were, we go grocery shopping together, and uh, he's now, he eats gluten free pizza, so it's a little bit different. But so we were walking through, I was like, beer, cheese, bacon, hella, that sounds delicious. Well, and the best part is, why did he choose that one? Do you have, does he have a reason? Well, because it, we've never tried the beer cheese. I think this is brand new. JB's. Oh, because it's JB's? JB's. Johnny B's. I've never had Johnny B's. Johnny B's, and it's a pride of Dakota pizza. Oh, it is? Yeah. That is just So I was walking around today. I was walking around, and uh, most people said, you know, if you don't like the jalapenos, but I think jalapenos would be good. I think I'm going to love that. So, But he also, he also, you know, pizza, turtles. I had some flowers on my desk, but it's like, what else would you want at four in the morning than a jalapeno? That's got to be up there. I don't know. I've been married, I don't know, 15 plus years, so I'm sure we've had a lot of really romantic uh, evenings, uh, evenings but so it's hard to keep <laughs> it's hard to keep topping it but uh, he did it with some pizza toppings uh, this year so from I thought JB's. that was from that JB was beautiful my uh, my Valentine <laughs> so I thought that was very very sweet of him oh, okay so is, I, I love that long distance relationships the worst the worst right the worst. so anyway I saw this story this morning I was like we need to share this because both of us obviously are lucky enough to have our loved ones here uh, even if your loved one's far away, you can still celebrate. And here's some great gift ideas from Liz, McLaugh- Liz McLaughlin. Yeah, Liz McLaughlin uh, gives us a look. I was like, Liz McLaughlin, are we going to sing a, a sad, a sad song? McLaughlin. That's Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. Liz McLaughlin takes a look at some unique gifts in case you're in a long-distance relationship. Millions of Valentine's Day cards are changing hands today. But for long-distance love, there's a new way to stay in touch. This is just a more unique way to really use technology, but have it have a more human touch. Gift sites like Uncommon Goods are seeing a surge in the popularity of connected devices, including the Love Box, with a heart that spins when a message is sent to the box. It's something more magical, I think, than just what the phone can do. Connected friendship lights are another trending product with a growing number of options on the market. These are friendship lamps from Brookstone. They come with a companion app. You have one and give another to your friend or loved one. Then you can use the app to change the color of their lamp so they know you're thinking of them, whether they're in your neighborhood or across the country. Or try a connected wearable like Bond Touch bracelets. When it's touched, the paired bracelet will light up and vibrate. People are saying that they love the opportunity to tell someone they're thinking about them without necessarily having to use words. Go a step further with Pillow Talk, a wrist monitor that sends a real-time heartbeat to a speaker that goes under your partner's pillow. Or share a smooch through robot lips with the Kissinger. Tech to keep you feeling close to your loved ones, even when you're not. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News. Yeah, the robot lips, a little yeah, weird. That, that is a little out the there, touch, the touching, the, I thought was pretty The heartbeat weird. under your pillow. What do you think of that one? 
I, don't, I, 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 would, I, I would be open to trying it. But the testing would be kind of nice. Like, you're sitting here and you're like, you're just oh, like, oh, man. he's thinking just, of me. Yeah. I do like that. That was nice. So even if it's not long distance, just the other side of town. Right. There you go. There you go. Oh, JP, thank you. <laughs> You've never, have you ever had to be, uh, you'd be like, stop, stop touching. He'd be like at work, like, I'm taking my watch off. Stop that. Stop that. Anyway, that was, uh, most of those items were from Uncommon Goods. They say the friendship lights are their most popular gift. You know, that's young people now. They, they have to think of different, new, cool, techie ways to stay yeah, connected. Yeah, I like some of those. That's nice. All right, stay with us. Coming up next here on North Dakota Today, we were already talking about it. We're going to uh, do our pan talk about the pancake feed. And uh, how many pancakes could you eat in one sitting? Oh, dozens. Dozens. <laughs>